and you are of course most welcome. This is Project Euler problem number 9. A Pythagorean triplet is a set of three natural numbers, a is less than b and b is less than c, for which a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There exists exactly one Pythagorean triplet for which a plus b plus c equals a thousand. Find the product a times b times c. Okay. So we can brute force this pretty easily. Um, we just loop through certain values for a, b and c. But rather than just doing 0 to 1000 for each of them, and that would take like a billion iterations, we're going to box a little more clever than that. So a, what are the ranges for a, b and c? How high and low can they go? a, I think we can start at 1. But I think we can only go as far as something like 333. So 333, B has got to be one more than A, so 334. And then C has got to be one more again, that 335, and that totals 1002. So we have to push B back a little bit, so you make that 333. And then A has got to be 332. That is a thousand, so I think that is as high as A can go. So A is between one and three, three, two. What about B? B we can go a little bit higher. I think we can go up to 499. If we set f C to 500, then that makes a thousand. But if we push B any higher than that, say 500, then C has got to go to 501 which is 1001. So B can be anything between 2, or shall we say A plus 1, and uh, 498. Did we say 498? 499. Yeah. C, on the other hand, I think the lowest it can go is 335, but I think the highest it can go is um, 997, 1 plus 2 plus 997. So those I think are the ranges for A, B and C. So for our A in range 1 to 332, so we go to 333 because Python's weird. For B in range uh, A plus 1 and then going all the way up to 499, so we type that in as 500. And then for C in range B plus 1, in fact we'll just put 335 for that one. Um, and up to 997, so we type in 998. Okay, so now we do the condition. So we need to know if A, B and C add up to 1000 and they are a Pythagorean triplet. So if a plus B plus C is equal to a thousand and A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If it passes both conditions then we have found the Pythagorean triple and we should print it off. So it wants the product of A, B and C, so we'll print that off. I'd like to know what A, B and C are individually as well. I'd also like to know how long it took. So we'll from time import time and then start equals time. And then down here we'll do, what are we going to do? Um, time minus start. Wonderful. Okay, I oh, then we need to break out the loops because once we found the solution, there's no point continuing. So break out the inner loop with break, but then we've got to break out the other two as well. So let's say we'll do found equals false, and then if we found the solution, we'll set found to true. And then we'll only keep looping if found is false. So if found, if found, then break. And in here as well, if found, break. Okay, 
So, I'm going to get rid of the browser window so we can all see how long this takes. And let's have a go. And this is going to take a few seconds by the look of it. Um, Crikey, it's taken a long time. There we go. 15.8 uh, seconds. That is a very long time. That is the correct answer. But 15.8 seconds. Well, that's a lot of iterations. So um, I wonder if we can make it any quicker. Well, of course we can. So now I'm going to show you the more elegant solution. So we'll keep that because I want to know how long it takes. Okay. Okay, I've brought the browser window back up because we're going to do a little bit of Googling. So, um, we're dealing with something called the Pythagorean triple. So let's look and see if there are any articles on Pythagorean triples. Oh, look, I've already searched for it. And we're going to go to this Wikipedia article. And it says Pythagorean triple. So here is a load of maths stuff, which is way over my head. So we'll just scroll down past the intro. And we see in the contents generating a triple. Oh, that's interesting. So we can generate triples instead of just finding them. Apparently we can. This is Euclid's formula. Euclid's formula is a fundamental formula for generating Pythagorean triples given an arbitrary pair of integers, m and n, with m being greater than n and n being greater than 0. The formula states that the integers a, b and c form a Pythagorean triple if we express them um, thusly. The triple generated by Euclid's formula is primitive, I don't know what that means, if and only if m and n are co-prime uh, yeah, and both not odd. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and sorry, and not both odd. So one of them could be odd, but not both. Okay, right. Uh, we're getting into math terms I don't understand, so we'll just leave it there. Right. So we can generate A, B, and C using two variables, M and N. So the only question now is how, what is the range of values for M and N? Well, we know that M has got to be bigger than N, and N has got to be greater than 0. So m can be no smaller than 2. Let's uh, bring this up. m can be no smaller than 2. But what does it go to? n can be no smaller than 1. But what is the maximum value for n? Let's do a bit of reading and we'll find out. So this b equals 2mn. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's use that. B equals 2mn. How big did we say B can get? We said that B can only be as much as 499. We'll call it 500 just to round it up, make this a bit easier. So let's divide both sides by 2 to get 500 equals mn. Now bear in mind n can only be one or more and m can only be two or more so if n is one oh I had it I didn't divide Ugh. 250 okay so um, let's look at the others as well just for reference so this one is c equals m squared plus n squared c equals m squared plus n squared okay so here m and n can be no higher than about five mm. m squared and n squared can be no higher than about 500 yeah i think that makes sense so what is the square root of 500? Um, oh. 
the square root of 500 according to my calculator is 22. So I think m and n can be no higher than 22. For m in range, uh, 1, oh, m has got to be 1 higher than n. So we'll actually do n in the outer loop. For n in range, uh, 1 to 22. We'll put it to 23 because bloody Python. And then for m in range, um, m plus, no, n plus 1. And that goes up to 23 as well. So, a, what, what was a again? I think it was m squared minus n squared. Yes, it is. m squared minus n squared. b was 2mn, 2 times m times n, and c was m squared plus n squared. Okay, so we know this is a Pythagorean triple. We don't need to check that. All we need to check is that they add up to a thousand. So if a plus b plus c is equal to a thousand, then we print the product a times b times c, and then we want to know how long it took. So time minus start. Right. So this is a lot less iterations. It's basically um, 21 squared, however many that is. So it should only take a very short amount of time. I will get rid of the browser so you can see. Uh, drum roll. 0 0.0, 0 talk, took <laughs> virtually no time at all. Let's run that again. Yeah, 0, 0.0, pretty much instantly. So yeah, that's quite a difference. So yeah, if you're stuck on a problem and it's taking a few seconds, do some research. There's probably an article out there somewhere. So that will do it, I think, for problem number nine.